Diane Lucas has had one goal for 40 years, the elimination of violence against women. When I first started working in the area, we were regarded as being on the fringe and that it wasn't seen as a huge problem. But she says attitudes about women's safety are improving. Now it is a lot more spoken about. We have had Grace Tame and Brittany Higgins who've done a fabulous job. Ms Lucas recalls spending a day in prison 30 years ago for protecting the confidential counselling notes of a domestic violence survivor. They even took my belt and shoelaces off me. She says the judicial system continues to fail victim survivors. Another longtime social justice advocate, Sue Salthouse, is being recognised posthumously. We all want respect. We all want um, people to be fair to each other so that we can all have a share in a good life. Ms Salthouse, who campaigned for the rights of women with disabilities, died in a motorcycle accident in 2020, aged 71. Statistician and head of the Australian Bureau of Statistics, David Gruen, was surprised to get the nod. Oh, my goodness. I guess I was a quantitative kid, a um, bit of a nerd. Uh, so I was always interested in numbers and uh, I actually started life as a research scientist. Paralympic gold medalist Vanessa Lowe is also being honoured. The track athlete was just 15 years old when a train accident changed her life forever. I think this accident really turned out to be my one of my biggest opportunities in my life. The German-born 31-year-old has made Canberra her home as she looks to compete in her fourth Paralympics. I plan on going to the next Games, which will be in Paris. Um, that's now only two and a half years away. But I really have a big emphasis in, in trying to establish a really good life work balance. And there are so many other things important to me, as in starting a family and, um, and really nurturing my life outside of sports. Finding joy in life to excel in her field. Talia Roy, ABC News, Canberra.